In Hollywood in the late 1930s, two lions ruled the silver screen. One was named Leo, the symbol of MGM, king of Tinseltown's jungle. The other, a loud-mouthed and lovable beast known as the Cowardly Lion, arguably the most beloved character from MGM's The Wizard of Oz. A 60-pound costume made of real lion hides brought the Cowardly Lion to magical life on screen. This is the story of that costume, a Hollywood legend that was eventually neglected, ignored, and forgotten until one man found the courage to restore the Cowardly Lion to his former feline glory. In 1939, Bert Lahr was a character actor with a modest string of successes under his professional belt. And a powerhouse studio had Lahr in mind for a breakout role. For two years, the MGM studio had been developing a movie musical script based on the L. Frank Baum children's classic, The Wizard of Oz, a whimsical fantasy about a young girl's voyage through a Kansas tornado into a land of munchkins, emerald cities, and yellow brick roads. One of the central characters was a hypersensitive, frightened king of the forest, the cowardly lion, and Lar was perfect for the part. Most of us cannot relate to not having a brain or a heart, we can all relate to not having enough courage. And it is for that reason I believe the Cowardly Lion is the character we respond to the most. Almost immediately after Lar was cast, he spent several long days at MGM's wardrobe department being measured, fitted, remeasured, and refitted for his lion costume. He also endured several painstaking makeup tests as the production team searched for the right look. A few days before shooting began, director Victor Fleming settled on the final lion design. A 50-pound wool and cotton jumpsuit with an attached fur mane and fur tail. The fur, culled from real lion hides imported from Africa, would have to be dyed a golden brown to match the rest of the jumpsuit. A five-pound wig and two felt and plastic ears rounded out the costume for a total weight of more than 60 pounds. In the 30s, MGM Studios was known as having more stars than in the heavens, and they were not going to cut costs. And also, in the 1930s, there was no such thing as synthetic fur. But the results were nothing short of magical. Audiences fell in love with the characters, particularly the boisterous, cowardly lion. Lars' childlike interpretation of the character had instant and universal appeal. Oz's enduring popularity extended to the movie memorabilia market as well. Throughout the years, several items from the production ended up on the auction block. In 1988, one pair of Judy Garland's well-traveled ruby slippers fetched $165,000 at auction. But the story of Bert Lahr's cowardly lion costume is a little less magical. For decades, the costume stayed in its vault, becoming an almost forgotten piece of Hollywood history. That is, until 1972, when MGM filed for bankruptcy. In the early 70s, MGM held a huge auction, and everything that the fans didn't buy left that lot on garbage trucks. Late in 1973, crews began cleaning out the MGM lot for the last time. Garbage trucks stood by to crush and tear pieces of Hollywood's past, including the now tattered and torn Cowardly Lion costume. One member of the cleanup crew spotted the costume and thinking it a good Halloween costume, placed it into a garbage bag and took it home, where it stayed for 23 years, enduring water damage, bug infestation, and mold. In 1996, it was again thrown in the trash. Within hours, an antiques dealer rescued the costume from the curbside and called memorabilia expert James Commissar. I'm quietly led into this conference room, and there's this beautiful black lacquer table, and lying on this table is a lion costume like no other I have ever seen. This was made out of a real lion. After studying freeze frames of the cowardly lion in the movie and comparing the costume to photos in reference books, Commissar was able to verify its authenticity. He purchased the costume and went to work. 
Commissar was determined to restore the once magical costume to its original condition. He hired textile restorers at the Los Angeles County Museum of Art to repair damage to its tail and hide. Commissar also tracked down Bert Lars' son, who sat for a face mold for the lion's head. The lion's mane, made of human hair and imported from Italy, was restored to the tune of $22,000. More than 21 artisans spent two years completing the restoration. I, I truly believe that folks who own famous objects are, in a small way, part of the legacy of those performers. And I, for one, take that responsibility very seriously. In January 2000, James Commissar made the decision to put the costume up for sale in order to focus his efforts on a growing archive of television costumes and other memorabilia. In the museum community, it's called deacquisition. We are uniquely dedicated to the television experience. And even though we love the Cowardly Lion dearly, we've decided that he's going to continue his wondrous journey. Many potential buyers have expressed interest in the lion costume some even offering as much as $500,000. But so far, Commissar has rejected all offers as he searches for the right lair for this awesome piece of Hollywood history. Now that's courage. The Cowardly Lion's costume from The Wizard of Oz is located in private archives at the Commissar Collection in Beverly Hills, California.